So do you want your player within Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree to look fabulous in battle? Well that's what I bring you guys today. This is a complete guide on the Dancer's Armor set as well as the Dancing Blade of Rana. Pretty cool, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm actually liking it. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this is probably some of the most unique weapon uh, I've actually come across. So leave me alone, guy. I haven't leveled these weapons up. Don't you dare chase me. Uh, but yeah, these are some of the most unique. Well, it's a weapon, obviously, if you're, it's a curved sword. So if you're two-handed, you get two of them. Where's that grace gun? Where's that grace gun? There it is right there. Basically, guys, all you got to do is hold down that skill button. And until your FP runs out, you'll be swinging and dancing with the unending dance skill for eternity. I mean, it's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And again, they're curved swords, so they're quick. They're agile. I like them, I really do. So that's your armor itself. Let's take a look at it. Then we'll take a look at the actual weapon. So it's a dancer's armor. And what this does is it basically enhances the power of dancing attacks. Well, looking stylish at the same time, people. Now it's a lightweight armor, so you can stay nimble while using it, so pretty cool. Uh, and then we have the weapon here, the Dancing Blade of Rana. I believe that's pronounced Rana. Scales with dexterity, requires 9 strength and 20 dex to wield this thing. Uh, I am liking it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so you can see right here, unique skill, unending dance. Uh, decorated sword, bl a blaze with impassioned red. Uh, a pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Used by the dancers of Rana. Strikes enemies with a dancing assault when executing a strong attack. That's basically what it does, guys. I mean, you just hold down that, that, that skill attack and it just does this for eternity. I like it. I really do. Now, I ain't going to level it up to test it out in battle. That's a job for one of you guys. But so how do you get this? So you have to beat a boss called the Dancer of Rana. And she's quite easy, I'm not going to lie. You'll see that at the end of the video. Uh, me actually kicking her ass. Uh, but other than that, it's quite easy. I mean, you just have to go on a little bit of a trek to get there. So you need to come down to this right here. The Southern Nameless. More, oh, what? Nameless. Yeah, actually, it does say Nameless. And this is it close to my TV. The Southern Nameless Mausoleum. That's where you need to come to. Okay, so to get here, guys, it's quite a trek. But there's nothing stopping you. Uh, you want to come to the Castle Front Grace Point. Which I'm sure by now. Everybody has unlocked. Uh, give me a quick second and I'll just show you Xbox loading times, people, where this is. So you can see the free path cross. Grace Point, come across this bridge right here. And you want to come to this point right here. So we're going to make our way around. It's quite a trek. But hey, you got to do what you got to do, people. You've got to do what you got to do. So from the Castle Front Grace Point, this is where you need to go. So pull out your trusty steed. I'm not sure about my blue skin though in this red armor. I think it clashes. I think it clashes, guys. So you want to come this way. And come down here. Just like so. But yeah, it's you know, I love these unique weapons. I mean, there's so many weapons that are doing skin that are just generic and they just look the same as, as each other. And this is definitely unique. Uh, it's got a unique skill with it too. So like I said, yeah, this is definitely one for the collectors out there. Uh, and if you do decide to create a build around this, I'd love to see it. I really would. I would love to see that shiz. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run past a few grace points. Um, which I sh When we get to the first one, I'll show you exactly the route we're going to take. And as always, guys, I'll put timestamps in the video description just in case... Uh, any of you watching this have already unlocked some of these times, uh, these time, these grace points. So we're going to come down to this swampy area here, run past those pretty flowers. I'm just going to try and poison, yes, just like so, and just like so. And then, guys, we go down here, and then we take. Well, actually, we go down through this swamp first. We take a hard left, and then we go through a cave-like system. So come down here guys, avoid everything. It's that guy in the distance there, we're going to run straight past him. And I believe the cave is down on his left hand side. And there's going to be a flower there. Ignore that flower, that will 
Sting your ass. So yeah, now come this way. Just like so. I've run this route a couple, so many times. I'm still a bit slightly confused. Have I got my lamp on? I think I do, yeah. Okay, so the grace point will now just be on your right hand side. So here's the grace point. So, okay, so we're at the Elect River Cave and we're going to come down through this cave system to about here. And then we're going to make our way down to uh, the Cerulean Coast. And we're going to end up where we get to this mausoleum at the Cerulean Coast West. Uh, but again, timestamps down below for anybody who's got these grace points unlocked. You can go straight to said point. Okay, so from here, guys, we're going to keep going through this cave system. From where we are, which is just about here by the Illac Grave uh, River Cave. Uh, grace point, so we're just pushing on. And there's a few little things you have to jump across here. Uh, that can be devastating. Just be... Ouch! I almost fell off then. That would have been the most embarrassing thing I ever did in my entire life. What was this at one time? Well, I'm not talking about that. Okay, so... Once we get down to these little stubs a little lower, you can just jump down and you'll be fine. So come up this way and you have to take a left and these birds. I hate these birds. I don't think I've ever got through here once without them actually hitting me and almost killing me. Let's see if I can do it this time. Don't you dare. Don't you. Oh, oh, them skills. Them skills. Okay, so I'm just going to come this way. Just looks on again. There's a few things here you have to jump down on. So be, again, be careful. In fact, I think you can just go this way. Just like so. And don't double jump when you're jumping off things like this. It just makes you hot. Just makes you go higher, which means you're going to take more full damage. Okay, so now we're at this grace point right here, which is uh, the Elect River downstream. Cool. Okay, so now we're just going to push on. And again, here we have to jump down. So be careful. Don't do those double jumps, people. It makes your full damage go up, obviously. Okay, so. We're going to be back outside now in that area we saw in the trailer, which looks absolutely beautiful. Um, which we'll see right now. You can actually go on this water. I don't know why I'm actually jumping like this, but hey. Okay, so the only thing we have to be careful here is that fire dude. We're going to push on past him and we've got to be quick about it. Watch that crab too. Yay! I'm hoping. We've got to push up to the right there slightly. So I'm going to go up here. I really don't want him kicking me off my horse. So just try and be careful. Whoa. Whoa. So we're good. Okay, so... We are coming up this way. Now, it's a little dark. I will lighten up my video, as I always do. But you can kind of see where we're at. You can see a little bit of light when you come up to this point. So you can see we're coming up to the Cerulean Coast Grace Point. So it's through here. There we go. So. Let's go, people. And here's that Grace Point. So here is where you need to be. Nice. Now we're going to push on this way right here because we're going to lead, go all the way down to the Cerulean Coast West. Just like so. It's basically a straight direction. You ain't got to really manoeuvre or anything like that. Now we actually found this by accident. Just looking around as you do. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. It's actually like there's a little cave you run to. Uh, it's like hidden. I mean, it's so hard to see. It really is. So, oh, shit. It's so hard to see. Uh, but when you when you spot it, you'll be like, wow. Especially if you ain't been there before. I think I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I am. Just been trying to get be careful of those electric things because they knock you straight off your horse, your mount. You can see that grace point right there in that distance. We're going to run to that. Just for the folks who haven't got it unlocked. So here we are. You can see exactly where we're at. The Cerulean Coast West. So from here, guys, you want to face this big rock out towards south. And just run this way. 
keep it on your right hand side and run this way. I'm just going to jump up here. I don't know if you can go right there, but I'm just going to jump up here. Then you want to, you want to go right at this uh, set tree. Jump down there. And then guys, here's that secret cave. Look. How mad is this? How mad is this? And be careful not to jump all the way down. Because that ain't going to end well for you. Oh yes, steed. And just come straight through. Hug the left hand side and follow it through. Just like so. So just keep hugging the left hand side. Be careful here because it's going to be a giant lob so that jumps out. Just like that. And there we go. We are coming to the exit of this cave-like system. And once you come out here, guys, you can go left or right or even up and over. Because we're basically going back west. So we're basically just, I'm just going to go around this way. Watch the crab. Just keep the water on your right-hand side, obviously. Rocks on your left-hand side. And you'll see another crab. And you'll see that the beautiful green, that uh, blue. Oh, shit! Beautiful blue flowers. And then, guys, you'll see as you come up over this, this corner. There it is. And this is where you need to be. Just like so. And, guys, in here is the Dancer of Rana. Go down, take her out, and you are rewarded all of this juicy loot. And there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.